Uh, mm. I think for me personally, I just want uh, the film industry in Asia to actually let's just start with in Thailand in general to you know um, view um, this sort of entertainment as just a good good piece of content. One good piece of content, like uh, no need to put labels on it, because. Uh, I well uh, to answer your earlier question as well, like what was I nervous or like was everybody else nervous? I feel like we didn't have to be because the team that we were in, you know, uh, everybody from the cast and crew to the camera to the lighting team to the uh, you know uh, the directors, everything producers, we all put our heart you know so, and soul into it. <laughs> everybody worked very very hard to you know get the best possible work um, ever. So I just feel like if anything. Uh, maybe for everybody to see that you know hard work pays off, or like it, it's okay to like you know to experiment a little bit just with good content. We are in the series. series. Yeah. Yeah. Am I asking in Kim Porsche the series? Am I Paul? As Posh in Kim Porsche the series. Hello, my name is Bible. I play Vegas in Kim Porsche the series. Yeah, my name is Jeff Sutter. I play as Kim in Kim Porsche series. Yay! My name is Vidhi, and I'm from Rolling Stone, India. Woo! Hello. <laughs> I've been very, very excited to talk to you guys because uh, I think it's one of the shows that I've really connected to on a personal level because I am queer. So for me, this show was very, very important, and I st wanted to start by saying thank you for creating such a fantastic show. Oh, yeah. thank, thank you for supporting thank us. You. No, absolutely. So yeah, tell me, how are you guys feeling about the massive global success and attention that the show has gotten because it's unprecedented? Well, uh, for me personally, I believe it's more than what all of us expected. expected yeah. Yes, um, it's it it's. Almost surreal uh, how big it's gotten. I mean, we put our hearts and soul into it, but uh, the feedback has been more than we could ever imagine. So we want to just say that we're very, very proud and and thankful for all all the people that support us. How did each of you guys get uh, attached to the project? Because you know, like, did you know? Like, what drew you to the story? Did you know this is the character you wanted to play? Like, tell me a little bit about how you joined the entire series. ก็ครับพี่ปอนะครับพี่ปอนะอือฮึก็เอ่อคือจริงๆคือจริงๆช่วงนั้นผมมูฟกลับมาจากนิวยอร์กมาอยู่ที่ไทยแล้วทีนี
Yeah, so for me, um, I saw the cast call. Um, I think it's some, um, it's some um, like digital PR, something like that. Um, and I really into the plot of this um King Porsche because like they got all the aspects of mafia, like the dark vibe, mm. the the gun and mm. the, everything. <laughs> yeah, so I, so I got really interest in uh interesting in, like in the the script. So uh, at first I got cast as. Mm. Um, but as a team see fits uh, they they think that I'm more likely to like to be Kim so from mm. that I just um, I just work hard on Kim and yeah so that is mm. the... that's super interesting like uh, did the rest of you guys know which character you wanted to play like did you like did you go in thinking oh I want to play Porsche or I want to play like Vegas like was that sort of the mentality or did you have no idea which character you're gonna play? I mean, no, uh, not really. We just, we just, um, as a team, see fit that we um, fit with with the role. Um, we just go with it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Actually, for me, I, I already knew that I was going to read for the role of Vegas because uh, because of what they they saw me like from my artist profile that I sent in for the casting. They saw my look, and then they thought that uh, I fit the look of uh, Vegas, and so uh, that's the role that I read in for. Mm -hmm. For me, like. After uh, the, the writer told, told me that Kim based on me and I read some novel and then yeah and I uh, try to understand more about Kim and that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. hey, an apple? Uh, for me, I haven't known anything before. So um, when you first cast Kim for the series, um, Writers said, um, "I seem, I seem to be posh mm -hmm. in in their imagination, and I also thought so because I have many part. Um, I have many part of my life is seem um is seem familiar with posh. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I I would be able to be posh." Yeah. You guys have been through a lot of challenges, like when you started filming first and then you had to like reshoot because the show almost got shelved and stuff. So like, tell me a little bit about that journey, about how did you guys manage to revive the entire thing and like bring it to our screens, which we were all scared would never happen because I saw the initial trailer long back and everyone, like all my friends, everybody, we were like, oh, damn, are we never going to get this show because it looks so good. So how did you manage to sort of bring it to us? ผมผมเชื่อว่าทุกอย่างมาถูกจัดอยู่ในตำแหน่งที่เหมาะสมอยู่กับคนที่เหมาะสมแล้วธรรมชาติก็เป็นไปของมันแบบนั้นอืมเ
he's gone through so many different changes that the, um, the Vegas that is currently uh, on screen right now, I feel like uh, it's been a culmination of everything being put in together, uh, you know, almost like a collaboration of everybody who's uh, been in or out of the team. Mm -hmm. And so uh, to reapproach the character, to answer your question, is basically just to start from zero and to rebuild the back up again. <laughs> yes. To dish all yeah, to uh, everything. Yes. Yeah. 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 For me too, like, um, it's, it's pretty hard because we we get to know the character already. Yes. And we have to discard all of that and start over, start over like, yeah. from the beginning. And mm. um, thanks a lot that um, we uh, we got uh, many good people mm. working with, with us, yep. like Kuning, yes. like Dipon. And we uh, have changed the character for like, a very different way and other like the good way mm. we just um pick the good thing from the old yes and um developed uh, into the yeah, new yeah of course mm. yeah so yeah it's pretty hard <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like know someone new yes from the beginning มันคือการรู้จักตัวละครสักหนึ่งแล้วสําหรับผมนะแล้วก็มันคือการพัฒนาต่อเพราะอย่างแรกคือเบกัสเองหรือตัวละครหลายตัวเองมีการปรับเป
Yeah, Thailand for me is like uh, I've been several times, and for me, it's one of the most uh, comfortable places in the world. Like I just feel at home because mm-hmm. India and Thailand are very very similar. Our cultures are quite quite similar, so it's just always such a pleasure. So you guys, I think, might feel the same way when you come here. You must come. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed. You know, when you before the series came out, was there like any fear about how it would be received? Because it is so different from any shows we've seen before. I mean, in terms of like the the violence, the fact that it's like a mafia show. There's like an underground like like war happening and everything. So, were you nervous about how it would be received in terms of like the topics that it addresses? Hmm. <sighs> คือจริงๆผมไม่ได้มองว่าเอ่อมันใหม่หรือมันแตกต่างครับแต่พวกเราแค่ตั้งใจทํางานที่พวกเรารักแล้วก็พวกเราดีใจมากๆที่พอพอรู้ว่าแบบแฟนๆชอบพวกเราดีใจที่แบบทุกๆคนเปิดใจอันนั้นแบบคือความสุขของพวกเราคินฮอตเดอะซีรีส์เราก็มีอัลบั้มครับ Absolutely, I think it's very interesting because so many people around me, in like my friends in India and everything, uh, they don't really watch BLs. Like it's not a, it's a very new thing for India, and this is a show that so many people I know just started watching. Like I didn't have to recommend it; they just found it. They started watching it. My mother watches it too. She loves it, and she sends you her love. Please, like this is. Yeah, she just adores it because uh, she was saying that it's about the fact that the plot itself is, you know, so complex and so well done. And I think that it sort of changed how a lot of shows, like even coming out of Asia, like you know how they will be perceived and received by the world. So, how do you hope that like Kim Po Shi's success and the art that you have put out of the world sort of affects the Film industry from Asia, like the TV series industry. Like, what mark do you want to leave? Uh, I think for me personally, I just want uh, the film industry in Asia to actually. Let's just start with in Thailand in general to you know um, view um, this sort of entertainment as just a good good piece of content. One good piece of content, like uh, no need to put labels on it because. Uh, I well to answer your earlier question as well, like what was I nervous or like was everybody else nervous? I feel like we didn't have to be because the team that we were in, you know, uh, everybody from the cast and crew to the camera to the lighting team to the uh, you know uh, the directors, everything, producers, we all put our heart, you know, so, and soul into it. <laughs> everybody worked very very hard to you know get the best possible work um, ever. So I just feel like if anything. Uh, maybe for everybody to see that you know hard work pays off, or like it, it's okay to like you know to experiment a little bit just with good content. You know, yep. Yes. Yeah. We just want not a hardworking love series in Thailand. We don't. Um, we have no labor. We ourselves that what we are or what we going to be. Mm. Just just really um love. See, just love story series mm. in Thailand. Yeah, yeah, we just like really want to inspire every everyone that um like the core of the the movie or the series uh, the most important thing to to con um to consider mm-hmm. um uh as King Porsche like the message that we have spoken is mm-hmm. about the trust mm-hmm. and about the um, everything. So yeah, um I think. We just like want to focus on that and just have everything know that um, every hard work and everything, plus with a um, core message that inspire people would do a good thing. No, no harm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no harm. Uh, as as you have seen, um, every scenes of Kimbo the series, we we have never portray that um, that we are different. They, um, we are just human yes. and just human being. They just live a life, yes. right? Because, like I was saying, like when it comes to the portrayal of like sexuality and just human beings and how they go around living, how we all go around living our lives. Because again, something that really stood out to me because. Because I'm queer too. For me, it was like, okay, the story isn't about being queer, which is like what India. There's a lot of stories coming out now, which is really nice. And a lot of 
that representation, but it is mostly that the story is about being gay. And with Kim Porsche, the difference was, no, it's about like this, like war happening, the mafia, everything. And this is a love story that just happens to be in the middle of it. Uh, mm -hmm. Why is this sort of show very important, you know, for queer representation? เรื่องที่เราควรโฟกัสจริงๆมันคือเรื่องของอิสระทางความคิดอิสระของการตัดสินใจรวมถึงอิสระความกล้าที่จะแสดงออกมาเรื่องนี้ที่เราทำเราเ
at the last at the last scenes of of the third episode um one word that came one word that came from by the way yeah um when was your last happiness ah oh yeah i was the scene at the the um, and mm-hmm. for me as posh said just now <laughs> yeah. and, i cried in that scene like oh, so thanks okay. a lot for that yeah <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and then, and the song came and Paul said, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. <laughs> After that, he cried. The, the, the song. song. The song broke me. That's what it was. I was like, "I'm not gonna cry." And then the song came in, and I like, I was a mess. I was a puddle on the floor. So because the dialogue came from. My personal life. Oh, oh. very sweet. Just very That's very sweet. Okay, my turn. My turn. <laughs> yes, your turn. Actually, I like that 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 scene very much. And but I think the 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 best scene for me is the the last scene in episode seven. Seven. Ah, that we do in the long night. Ah, in the bathroom. Because mm. I. I myself and a pole in pretty big skin in the the yeah, theater yes, and yeah. and that scene go spoil ting le ah bye bye pusa hai go spoil ting le ah scene kyu tong bok wa scene nan is about the the <laughs> gift <laughs> give and take of love ah. between mm. and pause ah. in the deep oh. way like Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and I, and I, never, I, I never thought that I could see myself like that. Mm. No portraying it. And that scene is can portray many feeling between a uh, kid and post from their eyes, from their body language, mm. and many. It's hard to explain in English, but I like it so much. Uh, no, I I get it. Yeah, it is a beautiful scene. I love the way uh, you guys were like reflected in the mirror as well. That was so well done because I think it sort of like ups the emotional quotient, like lighting the mirror, everything, and it was a very very beautiful scene. Uh, how mm-hmm. do you guys like work on building chemistry? Like I, I know uh, Bible, you mentioned it with between B- Vegas and Pete, but like even between Kin and Porsche, uh, how does how do you build trust with your partner? Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, the 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 key point of my mindset is just open mind for every word for every journey of my life. So so when I meet a po, actually we have met. Uh, actually we met before like ten years ago, and we have chance to we had chance to work again in this series. And I just first thing I just just want to open my mind. And a po, he's always. Give me many advices and many experience from the from from his own experience mm-hmm. before. So it's hard for me to explain because I just open my mind and Apo just fit mm. me easy mm. easily. Can I make word? Go make me that reply. As the mind, I I used to convince him to go shopping together <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Hasn't known me before. Uh, I always observe every every kind of the 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 gesture he he has, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> and I try to observe the uh, um what kind of is people mm-hmm. is, and um and I am an integrity. People, so I always open mind to work with as a way. That's why I can allow him to come to me myself. Mm. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And uh, I just want to add: uh, not only does it have to be trust between you know the two actors, especially filming a scene like uh, the one in episode seven yeah. at the end. Mm. Uh, there also has to be trust with the team as well, and uh, you know, 
uh, I'm sure it's been said before, but, but the team, uh, our team, uh, there's uh, a safety coordinator, which is our producer, Pippon, who, who made sure that, you know, for, for the scenes, there were very little people on set as possible. Sure, there, there was team. It was only like the, the camera, uh, the two camera uh, persons and, you know, the director and then the monitor was shut off yeah. uh, during those scenes. So that also allowed the, the actors to, to really, you know, tune into each other. And, yeah. So that, that trust is also important as well. Yeah, because I was going to ask, like, it's so nerve wracking to put out something that's first physically very intimate as well as emotionally very intimate. Like, it's kind of hard to imagine. Like, because I'm not an actor, so I, I don't know. But like, it's just when you're watching it and then like when you watch the behind the scenes and everything, it's like, wow, how did they do that? That's it's so realistic and just really well done, you guys. It's just amazing. Going back to what uh, Apple said about the characters being very human, they're all like, I love that they're very complicated and there's no, like, uh, Pete says this in the show as well, where it's like everyone is, it has bad and everyone has good. So when you were approaching these characters, like what was the best part of playing such complex layered individuals? Uh, I, I think I'll go first then because mm. Vegas has been labeled as sort of like the villain of the show. But the way I approached him or the way the, the team approached him and how we developed the character was that Vegas isn't, we don't, we don't like to do black and white, you know, uh, there isn't like good or bad, uh, you know. So the way we approached Vegas was that he is, he is a, uh, an individual who, who wants something. He wants attention uh, and approval from his father. Uh, and so uh, his actions don't need to be justified, but there just has to be a reason behind it. And so his relationship with his father, his relationship with, with uh, the major family, with kin, uh, is, you know, is the reason. That, and that's how, uh, that's, that's why the character acts the way he acts, in a sense. Um, there is no justification because his actions are bad. He is a bad, his actions are bad. We're not saying, I'm not saying he's a good guy, but um, yes, that's just how uh, we approach it. I think Kim as well. Kim is, uh, for me, a very, very interesting character because he's very mysterious. That's the thing. Like every time my mom and I watch the show, my mom's like, what is he doing? Because we don't know what he's up to. Like, so Jeff, tell me a little bit about, you know, how did you go into Kim's character, building someone who's kind of mysterious and we don't really know what his motivations are? Yeah, me too. I don't know what <laughs> he's doing too. <laughs> yeah. Like... Uh, he got so many layers in his head mm. that he would like consider everything, every time, every moment, mm -hmm. um, who he is with or he, who is not. Um, I think um, the key things that I did was trying to get into the mind of like the hate of um, mafia family, uh -huh. like Al Capone, mm -hmm. like Ooh. the one he blinded. Was that Thomas Shelby? Yes. Thomas, Thomas Shelby. Shelby. Yeah, I was like. The way that he constant everything about him and everything has to be right at a time. Mm. So yeah, so I take that into um, every time that I that I was shooting. Yeah, so yeah, um, I have to consider everything that is the consequence of this scene, that thing that I did. Yeah. Ah, okay. bigger picture. Yeah. yeah. So so in his eye, there will be like so many things like, going on with it. <laughs> yeah, mm. in, in every scene. Hmm. Yeah. Did the rest of you guys like uh, have certain points of inspiration as well? Like were there other characters, other pieces of pop culture that you referred to while you were crafting your character? Uh, for me, hmm. I tried to look at just for the look of Vegas and um, sort of who I, who I imagine Vegas to be if I met him, if he wasn't me. Uh, and so I I really enjoyed the movie Old Boy, um, oh, yeah. and uh, the main bad guy in Old Boy was who I imagine. What that's what I imagine Vegas to look like. Yep. Mm. The Korean version, not the. Not the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Good, but I, uh, you know, I imagine. <laughs> ความต้องการสูงสุดซูเปอร์ออบเจกตีฟของเขาครับก็คือเรื่องของอิสระผมเชื่อในเรื่องของอิสระทุกคนต้องการอิสระอย่างนั้นแหละแต่ว่าคิน
ที่เขาขาดหายไปช่วงชีวิตที่เป็นวัยรุ่นของเขาจริงๆอาจจะขาดหายไปเลยก็ตามที่เป็นแบ็คกราวที่ที่เป็นเป็นของคินซึ่งสิ่งต่างๆเหล่าเนี้ยอิสระตรงเนี้ยเป็นสิ่งที่คินหอยหาและคินก็รู้ว่าการที่คินอยู่ตรงเนี้ยอยู่ในแฟมิลี่แบบนี้มีน้องแบบนี้มีครอบครัวนี้มันคือสิ่งที่ทําให้คินไปไม่ถึงอิสระที่ที่เขาฝังฝันไว้ครับมันเลยเป็นคีย์หนึ่งที่แบบเวลาเข้าไปเล่นเป็นคินมันจะฝังอยู่ในในหลายการกระทําของคินนะครับสำหรับผมนะ is the key key point of this character for me yeah I think uh, like the scene at the uh, like Pierre where like Kin and Porsche are talking, and when Kin brings up the idea like where he says I don't really have a choice, mm. and for me that was like it hit it hits hard because you're like okay because you have this entire responsibility on your head, and while Kin knows who he is, it's sort of like like you said the the hunt for freedom and to sort of get away from that responsibility. ของผมก็ของผมไม่ได้ของผมแทบจะไม่ได้เอาตัวละครอะไรเป็นเป็นตัวยึดเลยผมผมเอาแค่สองสองกฎหลักๆมายึดจะแปลกันก็ได้ไม่เป็นเป็นกฎครับ theory oh two rules or two theories that he he two theories okay ครับก็อ่อันแรกก็คือมันจะมีสามข้อย่อยข้อแรกคือ background ข้อที่สองคือสภาพแวดล้อมและข้อที่สามคือเหตุการณ์ที่เจอตรงหน้าอืมแล้วก็กฎที่สองคือกฎของมาสโลครับมันจะเป็นกฎแบบว่ากฎกฎนิสของมาสโลมันจะมีอยู่หกข้อ yeah, the hierarchy of needs as well of the character yeah m a s l o s yeah Yeah. yeah, I got it. That's a nice way of describing it. That just made complete sense to me too. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, what do you kind of hope that after the show like finishes airing and stuff? What do you hope that people take away from it? You know, like every viewer who comes and watches the show, uh, what do you hope they take from this story? ตอบก่อนละกันก็ขึ้นโอเคสำหรับผมคิดว่าได้ความบันเทิงแน่แน่ความรู้สึกความรู้สึกของเรื่องที่เราทำทุกทุก EP มันจะเป็นเหมือนหนึ่งโชว์ทุกอีพีจะประกอบเป็นอีกโชว์ใหญ่โชว์หนึ่งเนี่ยคือสิ่งหนึ่งที่ผมคิดว่าคนดูจะได้รู้สึกดินามิกของความสนุกที่แตกต่างกันออกไปอย่างแรกนะครับอย่างที่สองคืออย่างที่ผมบอกเสมอว่ามันเป็นเรื่องของสเสน่ห์ของคนทุกคาแรคเตอร์มีสเสน่ห์หมดทุกคาแรคเตอร์ซื่อสายกับตัวเองและกล้าที่จะเป็นตัวของตัวเองนั่นคือสิ่งที่ผมเชื่อว่าคนดูน่าจะได้รับหลังจากดูเรื่องนี้จบเป็นสองอย่างที่ที่ผมเห็น For me, like I think um, people who um, aware that the world is like um, not only black and white. Yeah, yeah. Great. We got like every aspect that we can like just determine that determine that this is white or black, and also uh, they will learn to love um, themselves more mm -hmm. and trust other people more, mm -hmm. and we show mm -hmm. that. There are only trust that um, can help us help us um, get get through the the bad thing that happened in life. Mm. Yeah, mm. and hope. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. I think uh, I definitely I don't know like it just makes me feel stronger. Like after I watch the show, because it makes you feel more confident in your queer identity as well. And I also feel very proud that this is the kind of show that's coming from Thailand, from Asia. So I think that's uh, like when my friends in other countries and other continents and they are talking about it and it's spreading all over the place. I just feel super super proud because it's just a beautiful piece of work that you guys have all done. I think they really impress the diversity of their human being mm. is the most right. beautiful thing of this world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, like you were saying, like everyone, all of the characters, uh, they make mistakes. They also do good things. They do bad things. So there is a certain balance. Like that's why that's what makes the universe of Kim Porsche very believable. Because you feel like okay, like this, these are people who can actually exist, which I absolutely love. Like I, I want to. I know I probably shouldn't want to meet like a clan of like mafia people, but it just makes me want to interact and meet them. That's really really cool. I guess I sort of am now. Am I not? But. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> but i also like want to talk about some bonus stuff because jeff like i really want to ask you about the process of creating why don't you uh, stay that's like stunning so yeah thank you yeah thank please you. tell me how did you how did you come up with this song yeah um so it started with like the the scene that i uh, kim and porsche got to sing together in one scene and that scene i got to like the got to came up with this song mm-hmm. so there was a song that i did a while ago and i just show it to kipon mm-hmm. and kipon said this is interesting but i haven't got the chance to write the really yet mm. so i have to uh write it on the scene and just like um go along with it and just after finish that scene kipon said that we should make this to be like the the, the real song for <laughs> uh, so yeah so i uh, i got back and talked kipon um a few time about how direction that we designed it uh it to be and uh, yeah it's just got to be this way mm-hmm. and also um there going to be some um uh other way to but um it gets to come uh uh-huh. uh more more music from jeff yeah more yeah. music no. from jeff <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, um uh, yeah there's going to be some more of um one new stage Uh, okay. Well, I mean Twitter is currently going mad that you were in Korea. Have you seen that? Everyone is like speculating who is Jeff going to work with in Korea. So that's pretty fun. I'm not going to ask you because I know it's spoilies. I won't do that. But uh like that's pretty cool. Yeah, so is a female female. Oh. Female. Tell me a little bit about what we're going to see on the tour. Can you share like anything from there like in terms of just give us hints like you don't have to tell us everything but what should we look forward to uh well uh there's definitely going to be more than 16 of us actors yeah. uh, for sure um the production quality and uh you know the amount of effort that's put into the show is definitely on another level um it's held at impact arena which is one of the largest stadium if not the largest stadium in thailand so yeah I don't know how much more I can say. Um yeah, that I'm going uh, <laughs> to anybody have any so like, so has like the um, what is it? Uh, the talents that yes, we talents. haven't show anywhere mm-hmm. and this is the the first place that we're going to show uh, all of our talents. Yes. And this going to be different, going to be new um and going to be unexpected. Yes. Yeah. I'm and really let- looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, judge I just love to spoil but but I can <laughs> <laughs> you can and uh we wish that we would have a chance to go to India uh yeah and this because we have many details we have um several small details um in every country that that we will go to mm-hmm. and we hope that you <laughs> we would love that you will promote us to have a chance to go to india ah. <laughs> <laughs> please you got it <laughs> this is what i live for because i was like i need to i need to speak to you guys because of that because Have you heard uh, of any of the I guess the fan fair that you're causing in India? I've never seen anything like this. I have to tell you guys because there have been of course like a lot of shows that are popular in India, popular internationally, but even just on my social media timeline, you don't see a lot of like BLs uh like this popular in our country. So that's I I just have to say I just have to tell you guys like it's really amazing to see how many people are invested in from my own country i've never seen it before this is yeah. me hoping that this convinces you to come now so <laughs> yeah. and uh, finally like what are some of the projects that you want to uh, focus on after this because uh, something that i've been seeing like the discussion of like everything on the internet is what is next after after kenpoch because you guys have set the bar 
when it comes to like BL series or just just shows about crime and thriller and drama. So what what do you see yourselves doing next? Uh, <laughs> จริงจริงพวกเราไม่ได้ไม่ได้เซตบาหรือว่าแบบ expectation ไปในสิ้นเลยนะครับแต่พวกเราแค่พวกเราแค่เป็นกลุ่มคนที่อยากทำงานที่แบบว่าที่ที่ดีที่สุดแล้วพวกเราก็ตั้งใจที่สุดแต่ว่าพวกเราโชคดีตรงที่ทุกทุกคนให้การตอบรับที่ดีมันเลยเป็นเหมือนกำลังใจที่ทำให้พวกเราได้แบบว่าไปมีเป้าหมายที่ทำงานอื่นๆให้มันดีมากขึ้นไปเรื่อยๆครับ So uh, we can't tell you what projects we're gonna work on next. There's definitely you know big things happening after the world tour. Um, but we just want to reassure you, like what p i e r p a u said about you know we everybody just wants to do their best, and so whatever the next project is, uh, we will definitely do our best. Yeah, just gonna say that um, um, it's more excited if we don't know what comes next. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> nice try, but I was going to ask about uh, is there going to be a season two because that's the rumor mill right now. <clears throat> but you see, many interesting in the future for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, good job. Yeah, yeah that's that's good. I had to try. <laughs> This is something I do with all the artists I speak to. But do you have any questions about India? Anything that? You want to know because I've been asking you questions this whole time. But is there anything you're curious about? Yeah. Um. I. I want to know. Uh. In the sense of the culture or the love of the fans of India, how do you feel about it? 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 Never, I've never seen something like this. Where there's, I think the last time there was this sort of discussion was like when the Untamed came out, like the the Chinese show the Untamed, and there was like a lot of discussion around that. And then now, like that came out in 2019, and since then, I don't think I've really seen anything else that has made this sort of impact. Where you just open up social media and. Like Kim b o s h the series is also trending in India because yeah, sure, there's worldwide trend, but like to have India specific trend, it's it's very it's very cool. Like it's very uh, makes me very happy to see that. You know, like I get very excited. I really do. Like it's a bigger fandom than you think it is. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. we we have to yeah. see for now. Now, now you need to come. <laughs> <laughs> แล้วคิดว่าถ้าเกิดว่าพวกเรามีโอกาสได้ไป world tour ที่อินเดียแฟนๆอินเดียจะมีความรู้สึกยังไงบ้าง I don't know I think Ariel will go like insane because uh, I saw I saw something yeah on Twitter where mm-hmm. someone was saying that uh, our 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 country is very like polarizing like everyone has different opinions on everything everyone consumes very very different content and I think uh, like what's going to be We have no idea how like India as a whole is going to react, and I think that's what also makes it very very exciting. The unknown. I I do hope that even if you uh, guys don't do a show here, that you can come and you know visit. Have any of you guys been to India before? No. You should. You should. You should visit. I really want to try the street food. <laughs> mm. My friend uh, used to live in New Delhi, so you oh, know how long from from Thai. Hmm? Think, I'm not sure how how long is it. How long is the flight? It's gonna four hours. It's, I think hours? it's for four hours. I think so. I think it's not. It's not very long. It's not very I, long. I used to have the plan to visit India, but the COVID came. Mm. So. Uh, I visited Thailand right right before COVID actually. So like it's I I go quite often because uh, of the musicians who come. For for shows, they don't come to India, so <laughs> they come to Thailand. So that's why I go. Like I went to Impact Arena to see G Dragon in uh, 2017. So that was like crazy. So I can't wait to see you guys on that stage. That's gonna be mad. Oh, thank you. So, so please come to Thailand again soon. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for like 
taking the time to speak to me and to do this interview uh it was really a once a lifetime sort of experience and i want to thank you for the show you 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 guys are amazing very you welcome so you're very welcome thank you thank you, yeah. thank you. have a great weekend yeah you t- yeah. enjoy the next episode oh Will my god get- thank you so much thank you, so much. Thank you.